Hello, hi, I'm Faith. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Ocean. We're part of One Ocean Diving's research team. We're here to introduce you to some non-invasive methods that we use. Like analyzing shark identification, documenting human impact on sharks, and overall shark behavior and human interactions. Shark identification requires countless hours in the water, carefully monitoring sharks and recording and documenting their natural markings, injuries, scars, deformities, and other features to accurately identify them. This data helps us estimate local shark populations assess the site fidelity, and establish a baseline for environmental and behavioral studies. Every day, we record human impact on sharks and other marine life. Over time, we've seen an increase in these effects, noting behavioral changes in sharks due to discarded fishing gear and entanglement. We've observed rising entanglement cases, which often causes agitation in the sharks, with gear may disrupt socialization, hunting, and even their sensory systems like the ampullae of Lorenzini. We've also noticed sharks becoming more active near the surface, near floating debris, like plastic bags or beach gear, which also attract small fish. This draws sharks closer to the surface, increasing the risk of adverse interactions with unaware beachgoers. To study natural behavior in the wild, where findings are most accurate, we record every dive, use remote cameras, and conduct drone surveys, both with and without humans present. By understanding how sharks adapt to humans, we've developed coexistence strategies to minimize disturbances and reduce adverse interactions. We also researched the efficacy of non-lethal mitigation devices such as shark deterrence. These technological developments advance our ultimate goal of finding methods for humans to coexist with sharks by respecting their physiology and vital ecological role. We also occasionally use photogrammetry for accurate size estimates and have deployed CATS cameras. These non-invasive cameras are gently soft clamped without restraining the shark or interfering with its movement. They detach completely within 24 hours and can also be rubbed off by the shark. This allows us to gain deeper insights into shark behavior from their POV both with and without the presence of humans and boats. Hope that you enjoyed learning more about non-invasive animal welfare first research methods. And if you'd like to get involved, please submit any clear photos or video of any sharks you see while swimming around Hawaii to oneoceanresearch.org. Mahalo and aloha.